In the last lecture, we have introduced the three-tier architecture, the front-end, the application server, and the database server. In this lecture, we will introduce the software components in the operating system level of these three layers. Your front-end refers to the PC or the Mac that you are using to access the SAP system. It would usually run with Microsoft Windows or Mac OS. On top of it, we will install the SAP GUI software. Let's go and take a look. Okay, now it's in my own PC. I've just downloaded the SAP GUI 750.zip file. This is the SAP GUI installation program. I expand it, and then I drag down to the installation program. Just drag down to the folder. Go into the GUI, Windows, Win32, and then I will see a set of setup programs here. The last one is setupall.exe. I'm going to execute this one. Okay, it takes several seconds to start up the installation program. The other installation program will install a specific product. But now I'm going to choose the setup all so that I can choose the software that I want to install. Now I'm in the first screen. I just press next. And then I choose the software that I want to install. Since now I'm going to install the SAP GUI only. So I choose just choose the first one. The SAP GUI suite. Okay, so this is the fundamental program that you're going to use to access to the application server. Okay, after that, I will just press next. Next. And then the installation program will start. It takes about five minutes to install the SAP GUI program. And then after that, we can configure the access to the application server. After the installation, you should be able to find the SAP Logon application in your Windows Start menu. This is the program that I use to access my application system. Let us test the version. About SAP Logon, my version is 750 final release, and the patch level is 0. I try to add a new connection, more, new, connection. And then I type in the necessary information, description, application testing, and then the IP address of my application server, instance number, system ID, and the SAP router string. After I type in all these information, I can just press finish and then I double click. I should be able to see my log on screen. In later lectures, we will download the latest SAP GUI patches and apply. In this lecture, we have learned the basics of SAP GUI as a front end component. In the next lecture, we will explore the application server and the database server.